Eckhart with the the super sharp. I don't know. I don't even know. What's, what's well? Here's it? the thing, man. When you're in a in a cover band. Kids don't go to your gigs. It's always the 40-year-old, you know, the people who did dance. Yeah, yeah. I saw a picture the other day. It's, um, it said, uh, is this really fashion in 2015? And there was a big guy with a lumberjack, like, checkered shirt on, yeah. in a huge beard with long hair that was tied up in a bun on top yeah. of his head. And he, he didn't look too bad. He looked kind of yeah, normal yeah, to me. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. like, everyone was saying, like, there was loads of comments going, oh, that looks bloody ridiculous. I can't believe this is fashion at the moment. But right. I don't know. What is fashion? It sounds like 1990s. Yeah, what is fashion, though? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why people follow fashion. Surely. Poor why, chicks. What? You don't That's need, why. You don't need the fashion of poor chicks. Yeah, well, you did when you were looking for them. Yeah. You just talk. Yeah, but... Yeah, but that's how it happens. Yeah, but yeah, I guess. Well, that's just not way. the kind it, of chicks yeah, I'm we'll looking put it this for. Way. Put it this way. We've all been there. You're at a barbecue or a party or something, and everything's going good, and in comes Jono, right, who <laughs> you don't really know, but he comes in with so- – he looks good, and all the girls are like, whoa! Oh, my like, God. Damn, that guy. Yeah. You know, he's something, you know, and you go, I okay, I've got to get a new shirt. Yeah. Something that happens. Yeah, it does happen. Yeah. It does happen. Especially when uh, – when you look out, it just wastes. You just, I just find mm. you waste so much money. Like, I'm a bargain hunter myself, or even a charity shop, mm. because there's so much cool stuff. It doesn't cost the earth. Well, or you pay an extra hundred bucks just because it's the latest and greatest pattern. Yeah, it just seems bullshit to me. Yeah. It just seems like, yeah. oh, I just want to wear. I feel comfortable and looks good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't need. To, it doesn't need to be the latest thing that looks good. You know what I like to do? What is uh because we go to Japan a lot. Over there, what would you call it here? Um, uh, say, I don't know. Like a, in Japan, you've got a shop called um, Don Quixote. Right. right. Donkey, everyone calls it. And it's kind of like a Walmart in a way. A small yeah. Walmart where you have clothes, watches, electronics. Blah, Bit blah, of blah. everything. But that means all this clothes and all the shirt. These shoes... See these airwalks? Yeah. They're from Donkey. Wait. Right? And so they cost bugger all. In Japan, I'm a dag. In Australia, cool clothes. Look at this shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's Warhol awesome. shirt. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? Yeah. Everyone knows that if you buy something in there but take it somewhere else that's how that's how weird and strange fashion is it is isn't it yeah it just, it's, it's just a little culture of like a yeah. pack of people that are following people around yeah. and going where were i where where were I? it's tribes mate we're tribal <clears throat> we are we are yeah i done a tribal show on the weekend yeah yeah what in this country in this country so it was last sunday not this sunday just gone the sunday just before that was in the uk yeah so last weekend we were um in night quarter you know? ah, I saw that on your Instagram. What, yeah. a, what a venue. Right. So, I, actually, mate, today was the only reason only uh, someone else was at Night Quarter. And because and I saw you doing your fire shows in front of this night, flaming Night Quarter sign. Yeah, did you see it? I thought it was one of your shows. Well, it was my show, but we were, we were um, entered in... Uh, yeah, but that's what I mean. I, I actually thought it was your some event that I'd... Didn't know anything ah, about, and then someone else was there. So explain it to me. So night quarter, we just got h- hired to organise the entertainment for it. We we're doing fire shows and stilt walkers, but it's like a <clears throat> a huge shipping village. It's got like two hundred and sixty shipping containers, and each container was that at Helensville? Yeah. Ah. Each container is like market stores, food stores. And then you got this huge tent which is all made out of food stores. You've got different areas for people performing. You can have buskers, you can have musicians. And then you go into the paddock, which is, I reckon, probably the best live music place on the Gold Coast now. Mm. It's huge. Mm. It's a huge tent. It's all undercover. There's a huge stage area at the back. Free bars wow. all the way around. <clears throat> wow. There's going to yeah. be some cool gigs there, really. Is that right? Yeah, really cool. So that's Helen's Vale. Mm. Uh, I think it's needed what, something to need up there, isn't it? Yeah, big time. Well, okay, here's one for you. Everyone knows that Helen's Vale up the road is there is Coomera, <laughs> mm-hmm. and there's loads of New Zealanders there. People from New Zealand generally live in Coomera. Yeah. yeah. And they often shop at Helen's Vale. So if you're doing a traditional fire show, are there anyone there that sort of acknowledge you and go, 
I could do that better. <laughs> you know, some sort of, or not even that. You know, I don't like, know what he's doing. Give yeah, it up, lad. Yeah, instead. yeah, yeah. Because let's face it, you know. Yeah, it's funny. I don't really see a lot of um, Polynesians that dance with fire on the coast. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen them. Yeah, it's true. I'm interested. I did a, um, put a microphone in front of a, um, a Maori guy who's, you know, we actually spoke on this episode, and he was creating a podcast for interviewing uh, Maoris who are doing, you know, exceptional things. Great idea. Yeah, great You know, idea. like he's trying to inspire everyone to just, you know, to celebrate work their culture. Things. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to tell him that. William Carr. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. William Carr. Because you as you would know, I oh, know you don't, actually, you don't want it. <laughs> I don't want You don't need the competition. You're killing it. No, I do need the competition. Everyone needs competition. Yeah. It makes you better. What would, um, okay, tell me about, um, when I think of Hawaii, mm-hmm. um, I think of uh, the Hawaiian girls, like a, or the Tahitian. Terrible. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. All they're, they're all ugly and can't dance. Yeah, Terrible. exactly. Really? Yeah, really? really? I, I've never been there. Even even my girlfriend was just like, oh, my word. Really? Yeah, the dancing and the hip shaking and yeah. just the sheer beauty of all is just overwhelming. It and that's what it? bums me out. Well, it's actually your fault. Because you're English, right? <laughs> you, you came over here. <laughs> where's my bloody... Where's our girls' cultural dance? Oh, you've not been up in surfers on a Saturday. Exactly. <laughs> They're stumbling around all over the place. Mate, when we were in school, did you have this in the UK? Um, they taught us in primary school, and, and a lot of it was actually, here's the funny one, songs they sang on the boats over here. So... We're bound for Botany Bay. These like sort of <laughs> these really dull yeah. cultural songs, but they've gone now because people just didn't they didn't catch on at all. But everyone kind of knows them. But the only dance that everyone knows was heel and toe, heel and toe. And this is the it's always sung like this: slide, <laughs> right hand clap, left hand clap, both together, knees to slap, heel and toe. <laughs> Just horrible, so mate. So boring, isn't so it? So boring. Don't, it's like a barn dance. I kind of like. I I kind of crave more culture from England. Yeah. Like we've got like a shitload of history. Yeah, but what happened? I, we've just been invaded by like everyone throughout generations, haven't we? Like, or are our of, brains different? Like you know, like like they say in that song, um, "Black people turn up the bass." Wh- yeah, white people turn up the treble. You know, are are we yeah. actually? We have we have more brain space for a certain thing and less for for dancing. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, you'd have maybe. to. Argue, that's a good enough. You could argue yeah, that. Yeah, well, we're creating so much more, like music wise, aren't we? Yeah, so much more in depth. But um, as far as hanging on to, the Japanese have this cool cultural dance thing that I love, and you know. Yeah. But the, the yeah. UK, okay. Look, I'm going to put it to you. What would it be? Can you think of anything? <laughs> What the tradition? Like a traditional, uh, particularly <laughs> ladies' cultural dance. Is there one? And like you're right, we got line everyone dance. has c- come to the UK, but maybe it is bloody rave. <laughs> <laughs> Acid, Acid nineties. Well, how, go back. Like, how far? Would Happy it, hardcore. What would have a good think? What would did they teach you anything in primary school? I'd love to know, mate, because you, as you know, my mum's from Kent. Yeah. So, do they teach anything in primary school? In what respect? Like dance yeah, wise, like some sort of dance. We had the, this particular barn oh, dance. Yeah, we have like barn dances, line yeah. dances, and um, I can't think of the word. Where they they um, dance to a, from a pole and they have oh, bells yeah. on their feet. Yes. What's that called again? Yeah, that isn't is, it a French pole or something? No, no, it's, a, it's an English pole. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody! Are Fred. you sure? You sure? Hey, French, get your there. hands off our poles. <laughs> Right? There's, no, you're a bit, right mate. there's a bit of water between us. <laughs> you're right. Actually, I found a, you know how you have um, um, eight, eight millimeter cameras, like really old film, mm-hmm. and it was my grandmother's, oh, so it's awesome. 40 years old or something. And one of the tapes that came on was my cousins at Maruka in Brisbane yeah. dancing around a pole. No way. Like, and the whole school was doing this with the ribbon, you know, yeah, and they're, they're, they're plaits or something. Yeah. And it was all sort of, um, that's what it is, bloody Scottish. We had a lot of Scottish sort of Highland dancing here. Yeah, there is. Back in the day yeah, when you know, everyone's sec- every second sort of um, uh, neighbour had the knives out on the floor. and But that's all gone. Yeah. 
no, I can't you know, no reason to do it anymore. I guess. Traditions. The thing I, I found most about in Hawaii and visiting all the, the Polynesian cultural center, every single culture that was there wanted to share their culture. They were so enthusiastic about their culture. It was, it was wow. breathtaking. You'd it think was, it'd be the opposite, maybe. Well, that's what we were thinking when we were there. Oh, are we going to be able to find someone that wants to talk about it and yeah. wants to sit, put themselves in front of a camera? We got too much footage, man. Like everybody wanted to share their story, their culture, wow. and their traditions with in front of the camera, and they were so proud. Wow! It was it was mind blowing. Does everyone have an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. Mate, they have i I was in India in, um, yeah. and I did a vipassana, like a ten day silence. And after I finished my ten day silence, I walked into the jungle and stayed there for. I went trekking to the Himalayas and then walked back down into this jungle and I found a Tibetan monastery and I stayed with this Tibetan monastery, monastery for a few days. <clears throat> and, the, and the monks had iPhones and were wearing like Nike trainers. So it's just like, what the, what's happened? You can't stop it. You can't stop it. It's everywhere. You can't. And these guys are trekked over the Himalayas to, you know, yeah. run away from the Chinese. Yeah. I always say we probably had this conversation. Oh, I, hope we, no, I don't think we have. You know, when you stare at fire, you're at a campfire. And you stare at it, you know. You, you actually are addicted. You, it's like our history, yeah. human history. We stare at fires. It became, then came the TV. Now it's in our hand. You can't blame some monk. He's just like, yes, it's, this fire's in my hand now. Like staring yeah. at this thing, you know, hooked. Yeah, why not? But, you know, if he's using it for good, because I, I've been, like, to different monasteries, and they've got iPads, but they're sharing all their knowledge of Buddhism ah, okay. and... Like, yeah, so right. they're using it for a good purpose. Yeah. So why, I guess, yeah. why is it bad? Oh. Yeah, well, well yeah, no. Oh, Ten reasons. days of not speaking. <laughs> yeah. It, it, what, in a, in a meditative sort of thing? Yeah, well, you... you s- I couldn't think of anything worse, by the way. Oh, that'd be another thing where, I, <laughs> where I'd sort of... Oh, and I'll do it next week. I've got this... <laughs> I'm doing a 10-day podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'll check my Facebook. I'll do it tomorrow, right? Yeah, it was interesting because yeah. I like to talk. Obviously, I'm, you invited me onto a podcast. Yeah. And I said, yeah, why not? I'll come and have a chat. Yeah. But I got there and it was, it was kind of interesting because you wake up at 4 a.m. There's a big bell that rings and you walk into this huge room and you sit there cross-legged and you meditate for three hours. Then you go and eat some breakfast. You come back and you meditate for another four hours. And you go and have some um, lunch, and you come and meditate again, and you get walking around for an hour, and you have to meditate again. And at nine o'clock, you go to and bed. No one's speaking. No one saying a word. Nothing. What's going on in your mind? Or Everything. Is it painful in Everything. the first day? Like just going, I don't know if I want to do this. Maybe I can leave now. Can I? Oh, for sure, for sure. You think about every thought. That has ha- like ed- every experience that has happened to you. Then you think about everything you know. I started singing every song I knew. I started reciting poems and random stuff that I've read. Like, and after about day four of doing this, there was n- it seemed like there was nothing more to think about, which is a really strange concept. So I started listening to their teachings <laughs> after day four. And what you have to do, they're, they're trying to get this vibration through your body. So you start from the tip of your toes all the way up. And at every point you have to feel like this sensation going through your body. And if you get a blockage where you say you can't feel your knee, you focus on your knee for two minutes until you feel it. And then you try and get this flow and feeling up to the top of your head wow. for everything and then going back down. And if you can get that in a, like a, a constant flow in a state, it's meant to really relax you. And then you're meant to do it from in, inwards to outwards, like through you. So then you're going up and down through your body, getting this like flow of energy coming up and down and then through you. And yeah, by day eight, it was just like, whoa, this is intense. Like, cause it was, yeah, it was mind blowing. It's, you kind of f- wow. felt like you knew your body a lot more. Okay, you course. kind of understood yourself a lot more, which is good. So yeah, it was, in- it was an interesting 10 days. It really was. It was like, Tribes of monkeys everywhere as well. Yeah. Yeah. What, well, you're in, a, in the mountains in India? In India, in Dharamsala, where the Dalai Lama lives. Damn. Yeah. It was, what made you go there? Like, did, you, did someone else tell you to be there, to go there? Well, what were you running from, Neil Webb? What were you trying to hide from, man? Oh, loads of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, again, another huge thing to do. 
Yeah, well, I don't know, man. I've just been traveling for years right. now. Like, my my friends back in the UK, I can remember when we were um, 